This replay here is for Volt in Discord or Jit Trippin. I'm not gonna say the rest. We'll call him Trippin. Hopefully, we'll be able to help him out. Uh, diamond rank in ones. So I don't think I know much else about him. So we'll we'll see what happens. Let's kind of let's kind of get into it. We're gonna have a quick goal for orange here. So good kickoff, good kickoff win. Solid. Looks like the opponent won. Yeah, he said it. He said this game was very intense. He played against an opponent who was better than him, and he ended up losing right at the end because he got uh, nervous. So we'll see what happens. So good weight, good control. This is great. This is classic, classic ones behavior here, right? We don't need to aerial for nothing. We don't need to do nothing. Wait for the guy to blast this ball away from his car, and then you just take a touch and throw it into the net. Like very, very standard one stuff. I got you, Nova. I got you. I see you. To make some assumptions. That's good though. Another big kickoff win, and looks like it's gonna result in a goal too. Whoa, barely. Woo hoo, that's scary. So we haven't really seen much yet. Kickoffs have been really dominant, which is going to happen in once. We just got to see what happens when... Ooh, good fake kickoff. I want to go back and see if I can tell if this is fake kickoff. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Something I like to do in ones is as we're... We should be good in our, enough in our kickoff where we don't need to look at our car or at the ball, right, really? We can kind of just do it, right? Something I like to look at, I like to look at my, my opponent. What's he doing over there? And a lot of the time, you can catch them back flipping, or even um, half flipping, or just driving forward but not actually going for it. So you can see the half flip right here, so that way you know he's faking. Now you can not just keep flying into the ball and throw it away to him. You can maybe take a dribble or do something else, right? So I like I like doing that a lot. It works in every game mode. I'm always constantly watching to make sure. No one's faking on me because I don't like being faked. All right, we finally got that boost. We got there eventually. Good. A little too patient. Um, you know, yeah, let them do that stuff. But, like, let's turn on this. Let's get this, um, get this ball. You kind of let it get past you. An unfortunate own goal. Good for you for showing off an own goal in a replay. That's That's clutch. That's good. Yes, good. You saw the fake this time. Then we dribble and get close. Beautiful. That's how you stop fakes right there. See it, dribble it. You can do flicks. You can do double jump pops. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Changing up the kickoff. Uh, it didn't work out that well for you this time. You might have been able to save this if you actually just went straight. Like we need, we need, uh, we need boost here, right? Like let's take the path that gets us to the boost quickest like obviously we think we're gonna get scored on so we didn't tr take it serious but like coming up here getting these three boost pads at least and then cutting off at the last second you probably could have saved this um that's the only way you could have got there and saved it in time um you had a little mess up there with the after the recovery on the flip so overall kind of a rip like that'll happen beautiful this is what this is a great kickoff so, notice how he single jumps into this ball, guys. Single jumps into the ball, so that way we still have our flip, and we can wave dash and get back and be on defense much faster. That's clutch. Got to get the boost, but very, very, very clutch kickoff to save a goal. Good. You get a lot of little boost pads. See how efficient he is. Why am I doing this? Good high play. But we're still in it. Now let's get a counterattack. Beautiful. This is how I play once, guys. This is how I play once. I just... I, I sit back pretty far, and I just try to save everything. It worked out... This worked out well for him. Um, there wasn't really an opportunity for him to challenge. So just playing back and just trying to do his best to save the ball or put it away seemed to be the right option. Another kickoff. Keeps the flip again. So he recovers really quickly. All right. I love the position. Yeah, I didn't really do nothing. Yep, yeah, be aggressive. Take it. Yep, beautiful. He bumps you, which is unfortunate. Gets the save. Good. 
good uh, good last second uh, last second attempt at a save. You could probably challenge him at some point here, right? Probably after after this, you kind of know where he's going. Um, it's tough, obviously. You know, he turns the field, he flips the field on you, and you never want to see that as a when you're shadowing. You never want him to get on the other side of the ball of you, so that you're kind of in a no man's land. Um, so you kind of do your best to get back and save this. It doesn't quite work out. Um, I would say his dribble isn't great here, so you could probably early challenge him when it comes off that wall. Get to that ball quick, get him in his face right away. But giving him more space, you kind of have to make those saves, and sometimes it's unfortunate like this and you get scored on. But yeah, incorporate some early challenges. Get some like quick early challenges. Hopefully, I mean, you're going to get scored on sometimes when you do those, but like... If you can do them correctly and time them out right, they're game changers. Uh, you kind of threw away possession here. I know you don't have a lot of boost, but we want to keep this ball a lot closer to us. At least get a 50. You know, this is where boost over our ball over boost, right? We want to keep the ball. All right, chilling. Good. I mean, yeah, great, 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 great positioning, really. There's not much you can do. You're basically in shadow defense. And the guy puts pretty weak shot over towards you, so. Here we go. We're going to take patience. We're watching him. He's all the way over the other side of the field. Take a flick. Yeah. Standard. Standard, standard. I 1v1 the guy in this replay? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You can ask him. But got gave lots of space. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like giving space is an issue. Like, we don't need to be going all the way back here, right? This guy, you know, we don't want to give uh, this guy all the time in the world to do whatever he wants. Like, you know, we get this boost. Let's, you know, be in a more... We get this boost. Let's be in a more position where we are pressuring this guy and making him do something. So you could throw a fake challenge into here and then still keep um, shadow defending. Or, hell, a lot of times a diamond just, you know challenge the shit out of them early challenge them you know that'll give you uh, a lot of free goals and catch a lot of people off guard but like if you let people set up their best shot they're gonna score on you more times than not right this was a bad time to go for it um, you're really far away from the ball realistically when you flip for this so you're gonna you travel a long distance and I mean the guy's on the ball like you're not gonna dunk him for how far away you are he could change the direction of the ball and has a lot of space to do it. So, kind of lunging there. Don't need to do that. But, ooh, good time for the demo, though. Give yourself plenty of time. Let's set something up. Ooh, see this? All right, let's watch from this guy's perspective. This is the early challenge, right? Screw it. Sometimes it's just, just early challenge. Why not? It catches people off guard a lot. And then once you early challenge enough, you could start putting fake challenges in. And that's when you um, can start uh, getting people to actually bite on the fake challenges. You got to set them up, though. All right, we're going to get boost. Gave a lot of space, though. And yeah, good air dribble. Like I said, we're gonna give them a lot of space. You're gonna give them a lot of time to, uh, a lot of time to do their best shots. And if people can do their best shot, they're gonna score a lot. So that's why you gotta try to make them feel uncomfortable in ones. It's very psychological in a way. Going for the demo. Been nice if you got it. Challenge. Oh, you could have had it. All right. Good. Good control. We're gonna hang out. Be be close. Yep. This is good. This is good positioning. For some no nothing's easy. Now we back off, and that's where we want to be a little closer. That's where we want to be a little closer, right? You know, we can go this way, but we should have plenty of boost. We should stick here. We should try to slow down a little bit. Stick here, because if they're gonna cut this ball and come out like this, we turn. We challenge. If we see him go up the wall and try to air dribble, that's when we get this mid boost and we get into a shadow 
and try to catch this air dribble or try to get the ball off him, right? So, oops. We gave him too much space again. So now he had time to go for like a pretty like terrible attempt at trying to dribble this, right? Like that should have been challenged. Oh, you're lucky you didn't get demoed there. Um, but yeah, just he, lots of space. You get caught backwards a lot. Like I know you're trying to shadow defend, but you're kind of getting too far in front of the guy too, right? So shadow defense is great. You should always be doing it, but you want to be like here. You don't want to be in front of him to where now he can go this way or this way on you. Like you really don't know. You're directly in the middle of where he could be going. Um, if you're over in this spot, right? Say our car is here. He really isn't going to want to push the ball straight into you, right? So now we kind of force him to have only one way to go. And that's when we start pinching off his opportunities. So what does it look like? What, what does it look like he covered in his opponent's perspective? I don't understand that. But yes. So like, you're not really, maybe you're saying something like, he's not, you're not really covering anything when you're like this. So we're looking at our opponent, right? He has the right side of the net, left side of the net. He can do whatever he wants. So, you know, that's your shadow defense is just a little too far forward. You know, you just got to play back a little bit more and really funnel the guy one direction, right? That's the, the goal of shadow defense. Oh, just an unfortunate mess. That would have been really nice. Good. Get the boost deal, though. All right, good touch to the side. Yeah, we're gonna control the ball. Yes, good. See, this just shows good vision. Like, ones is all about knowing what your opponent's trying to do. This is great vision. We're staring directly at this guy. We're trying to figure out what he's gonna do. We see him kind of challenge. We double jump pop. Get the ball away from him. We're listening, we're hearing him. What is he doing? Always wanna have eyes on him. So here we go. He's trying to flip the field, and then we, we, we do the same thing. We get too far forward. Now he has the whole field, right? So if I get dusted a few times like this, this is when I'm incorporating early challenges. This guy is setting up dribbles, and they're kind of sloppy. Get up there and challenge him right now. Get in a way where you can challenge him somehow and basically make him uncomfortable where he can't set up these dribbles. But if we sit in our shadow defense and he knows that's what we're going to do every time, he's just going to slowly set up these, dribb these dribbles every time, right? Oh, then a bad, unfortunate kickoff to go down by one. So, we got to get back. Thankfully, we do in time. Still the boost, too. So now we have plenty of time to set something up. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. What he did here, I think this is what this might be helpful. So, he's in your face. Like you cut the field on him, but he's still in your face. He's still making it difficult for you to set up a dribble, right? So, you kind of sit back too far, let and let him make mistakes, set up dribbles, and take his time. He was in your face the entire time, and it made it impossible to set up a dribble. Now he overextends and you counterattack, and it's beautiful. I feel like offense is not your issue. Your your offense has been great this game, honestly. Um, it's all the defense, and it stems from like the shadow defense being deep and too far forward, and then missing open. <laughs> oh no, not the open net miss. Oh no. Do we watch it again? Volt, do we want? Do you want me to? Do you want me to play this open net miss again? Do I go back and I... Oh, that hurts. I, I feel pain now. I feel pain for that one. Damn. And then he just blasted on that. And that's how the game ends. Wow. So... Let me start crying. No. No, Volt. It's... 
it's tough. Like I said, your offense, besides the open net miss, um, your offense is great. You know, it's it really is. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Um, but like, it's just the, the the shadow defense. The shadow defense. You're just playing too far forward. And you're giving him too many options. We need to funnel him in to one option with shadow defense, and then incorporating different um different like types of challenges. Right? We don't want to just always sit back. We're always gonna shadow defend. We're always gonna do this. Like, we need to. You know, early challenge. We need to be in his face, make him uncomfortable, make him do things he doesn't like to do. This guy like to air, like to dribble and take time to do his dribbles, right? So that's why we needed to be just on top of it a little bit more. Get in his face. Overall, good. You have a great foundation. I mean, I, I would be shocked if you didn't, you know, get moving forward in your rank with this. You know, so overall, very good, Volt. Very good.